We're here today celebrating the grand opening of the Sensory Garden at Reach Charter School and the Sewell Childhood Development Center. A sensory garden is a garden that uses plants that evoke the five senses. This garden is really unique because we've used all low water and native plants. We were approached by a graduate student at CU Denver who was interested in modeling a garden to help children with special needs and those who learn differently. Hi Wyatt, good to meet you. What do you think about this? Do you see how it's purple and green? So the sensory garden allows for all five senses to be explored by the children. So we have sight, we have sound, we have taste, we have touch, and we have smell. A lot of these plants have so many benefits, so culinary or sensory, and they all thrive in low water conditions. So this is the perfect environment to bring in that kind of education and awareness to these kids. We were really fortunate to have expert gardeners working with us on the plans and made sure that we had plants that used low water, that we had good irrigation systems, that this could be sustained over a long time in this Denver climate. One example of a really great textured plant is this broom. It's got kind of a rough, coarse texture, but then it has these really beautiful yellow flowers on it. Examples of plants that give off smell are the lavender, chocolate flower, hyssop, and thyme. So when this blooms, right now they're flowers. They're gonna turn into pears and then we can eat them. Yeah. For plants that taste are the fruit trees, the mint, and we're gonna be planting a pumpkin patch. For hearing, it's just being outside, hearing the birds chirping and the bees buzzing and also the grass swaying in the wind. Sight is the obvious one, being outside, seeing the, the colors of all the plants blooming and the flowers. It's just a great environment for the kids. We are inclusive, meaning we have children of all abilities. What does it smell like? I think children learn so much from this garden, not only the senses, but they learn how to plant, they learn how to take care of the environment, they learn how low water usage helps, they learn about how they can eat and benefit from the garden, they learn about the seasons of life, and they learn how to do it together. What do you guys think of the garden? I think it's really pretty and nice. What do you think of the garden? This is awesome. We can really turn to plants as our teachers, and here in Colorado where water is a really limited resource, there are gardens that can thrive in low water conditions. And this is a perfect example of one where all the plants were chosen to be hardy for interaction with kids on a daily basis, but also thrive in a low water and water conscious environment. Say bye bye garden. Bye bye garden.